Everybody just keeps it Mario in this game. Homegirl doesn't even know his name though. Literally a dude is just like, I'll be nice to you, but I ain't got a name. We got stolen. I wish a dude would start off with that. <laughs> Hi you guys and welcome to the Shan Caravan. I died. <laughs> Last go round. Oh, what the f I literally just said I wouldn't save because there was no point to saving. So we're not gonna make that same mistake again. <laughs> oh, but I could kill them. I just realized I didn't re-up on my health. So, you know what? I'm gonna follow my rule. I'm not gonna fight anybody. And you're probably wondering, well, Shannon, or Shan, whatever you wanna call me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why won't you fight anyone? Because everyone in this section is overpowered. They make it impossible for you to like squeeze by because you're in these tight little corners. The flowers literally will just run away at any point in time. They can be full health, half health, they'll just run. And you don't get experience for them when they run. So you waste time, health, flower points, trying to kill them. And then the hyper everything, the hyper Goombas and the hyper Cluffs do crazy damage when they uh, charge up. So you only have like two turns to kill them, which wouldn't be a problem if it was just one or maybe two of them. But the fact that you always see them in like threes, fours, like there's no way. And to take that much crazy damage over and over again just doesn't make sense if you didn't have to, you know? So at this point in time, it's not worth it. Plus, when you do actually fight them, waste all that time, health, and flower points to kill them, guess what? You only get six experience points, so, nah. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, you're Mario, right? What a great name. And I really dig this bod, too. Man, I can jump now. And hey, you're so popular around here. I get mobbed. I just love being you. Yeah, that's so cool. I don't think I ever want to stop. So, uh, you figured it out by now, right, Slick? Your body and name belong to me now. See, I've got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really be someone, I need to take their name and body, too. Which means you turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break, Slick. That's not enough, either. I aim to erase you for good. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> you can't see his face, but you can see, you can feel it. <laughs> I guess it'd be unsporting to ruin you without a challenge, so I'll give you one chance. If you guess my real name, then I'll give you back your name and body. What do you say, Slick? This will be fun, right? Now guess, what's my name? Hit me with your best shot. So, the reason he even does this in the first place is because you can't say his name because I don't know if you notice but somewhere on here is a missing letter literally a missing letter that you cannot use so it doesn't matter what you type it's always going to be wrong wrong Amundo, little buddy who <laughs> named the kid that prepare for doom slick <laughs> and don't even think about running from battle here no running <laughs> uh guess what we finna do you finna run. <laughs> so, yeah, you can't kill him. I don't even think that you can do damage to him. So, it's it's meant for you to run. Oh, that's no fun. Good old ghosty dude. Oh, hey, everyone's back to normal. The curse has been lifted since Mario beat that bad, bad ghost. <sighs> that perfect red cap, those scuffed blue overalls. He's the absolute best. Why don't you do something about your appearance and spiff up like Mario, huh? Well, screw you too. Uh-oh, what happened to Sniff Sniff Lady? Oh. <laughs> Answer me, perhaps. I don't want to know. No, I do. Tell me. Be honest. It's my shop. She's my wife. I don't want to have to use a ninja punch to blast you out of here. Now speak, you cad. Why were you in here while I was gone? Okay, makes sense. I do not lie. Please say something, madame. I meant you no arm. <laughs> I promise. Believe me. Non untrue, monsieur. 
when I awoke, I was here, in this shop. I swear it. I do not lie. Please. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, this is awkward. I guess that pig wasn't my husband after all. This guy is younger and cuter than my husband, actually. Dang, girl. What a strapping fellow. Perhaps it's time I traded in for a new husband. Dang! Oh, I'm only fooling. Greetings. Welcome to the toilet. Are you, though? <laughs> she covered her tracks real quick. Girl. Guess I can buy stuff now. But Jesus, why is this six? Oh, because it does everybody. Spite punch. Stopwatch, maple syrup, super shroom, life shroom. I can see why those life shrooms are good to have. I'm actually going to buy one right now just because I'm not trying to. Ooh, that's a lot of money. You know what? <laughs> Worry about that later. <laughs> I'll just try not to die. <laughs> Hey, they're alive. Well, not alive, but they're, <laughs> they're not pigs now. Hey, we're the Traveling Sisters 3. Hey, I think we were pigs until a moment ago. No way. We're not pigs. But if we were, we'd be such cute ones, huh? <laughs> they're adorable. Remind me of the Powerpuff Girls. Hmm, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, poor me. Aw. Yellow. I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find it, my sister's gonna punish me again. But it's just not here. Time to help out. Oh, found it, nice. I actually wasn't sure where it was. I knew it was just somewhere in that grass area. Won't Vivian be punished if she doesn't find this? Super bomb bomb. What, you found it? Oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank goodness. At least I won't get punished now. <gasps> oh no, it's, it's broken. It must have broken when my sister dropped it. What do I do? What do I do? Guess I was just meant to be punished for life. Hey, don't feel bad. Here, let me fix it. I can try. <laughs> don't even bother trying. It's really busted. What do I do now, huh? My sisters will be back any minute now. But I do appreciate your offer. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> hey, wait just a second. What's your name anyway? Won't you tell me? What? I, I can't hear you. Your name was stolen? I see. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. Just like crazy, dude. Wait, no it doesn't. Your name was stolen? It's absolutely crazy. Aw, just chatting it up under the moonlight. <laughs> Gee whiz, you have way worse problems than I do. And you were worried about me that whole time? That's so kind. All right, that's it. I'm going to help you get back your name and your body and your friends. Hey, that's okay. Don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore anyway. And I feel like I need to repay your earlier kindness. It's the right thing to do. Everybody just keeps the Mario on this game. My God. So, <laughs> here we go. Homegirl doesn't even know his name, though. Literally a dude is just like, I'll be nice to you, but I ain't got a name. We got stolen. I wish a, I wish a dude would start off with that. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't got no name. Um, I don't have social media or anything. You know, it kind of got stolen. So, uh... <laughs> Goodness. Vivian has joined your party. Wish I had a party. Everybody's gone. Vivian's ability is a primer. Press X to have Vivian pull Mario into the shadows where they can hide. And I think that's why they made, like, um the areas impossible to get around enemies because they want you to use Vivian to hide away from them. But I'm like, that's just bad design that I literally have to hide from you because you're that hard to kill. It's not even worth fighting. It's worth hiding. <laughs> In battle, Vivian can set enemies on fire with her shade fist. Or she and Mario can hide in the shadows to avoid damage with her veil move. <laughs> 
guess we need to find out that ghost's real name first, huh? That'll be a start. Now, how are we gonna get that kind of information? Oh, hey, I have sort of an idea. Birds pretend to be innocent with people around, but they're actually really well informed for all that flying and eavesdropping. My power, you can listen in on their conversations without them knowing. So in addition to villagers, let's also try to get some info from the local birds. That's the least I could do for you with my powers. I actually love this part because the birds are really funny. So I was chatting with Rock Beak in Mushroom Town on Instant Messenger yesterday. And he said he'd just gone fiber optic on his home network. He believed that? Brad, I bet he's downloading a hundred megs apps with no problems on those fat pipes. He's probably surfing that feather club for crow's sight at the speed of light now. Yeah, it just blows me away all this information age hype you hear about. And yet it's all games and feather lost sites that are driving the technology. Yeah, but I think tech bus survivors can thrive if they get viable business models. I wonder if any of that will be updated with, like, Google Fiber and stuff like that in the remake. I've been really depressed lately thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels. <laughs> that one didn't age well. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. We've got to come up with a renewable energy source before that happens. Like wind or hydroelectric. I think solar energy probably has the greatest potential. Yeah, if only the big wigs would actually let us, you know, progress in that instead of, you know, just trying to make more money. But, uh, it's, it's who am I? What do I know? <laughs> Alas, this Twilight world is too full of pain and contradiction, too full of broken dreams. Perhaps I was only given wings so that I could flee the terror of mundanity. My goodness. Hey, Maud, listen to this. Ronnie, my oldest, is taking his SATs this year. Oh, is little Ronnie that age already? Well, bless my feathers, Flo. <laughs> God, I remember the SATs. They were annoying. You just spend all day, like, in a room answering questions. You're stressed out because all your teachers and parents are telling you that, like, this test will determine your future and if you can get into college or not. So don't mess up. Meanwhile, you're bored. You're hungry. It takes forever. You can't do anything or talk. It's just, it just sucks. And then either you, A, are one of the early people who finishes and then you're just bored for the whole rest of the time waiting for everyone else to finish or you are panicking because everyone else is finished and you have it and you're just like <laughs> like trying to finish and hopefully not be like an idiot or something I don't know it's oof I don't miss high school at all oh sorry forgot I gotta hide gotta sneak a sneak it's that Mario guy meeting with the mayor he's actually the bad guy right <laughs> no one even knows humans are so dumb it makes me want to peck their noses only soul that knows the bad guy's name is locked under creepy steeple, I hear. Because, you know, if no one knows your name, then you can use your unstoppable magic. But if someone says your real name to you, then your magic will stop working. So, uh, I wonder how all this is going to end up then. Hey, that's what we needed. <laughs> Did you hear that? If we search under creepy steeple, maybe we can find out that guy's real name. Let's go to Creepy Steeple. I actually want to see them at uh, the mayor's office, though. Be like, hey, yo, I know your secret. Hey, it's everybody. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We owe you so much, Mario. Please take this as a token of our thanks. Eat up. Now, who might you be? I don't remember inviting any shadows to my house. Sorry, but Mario is visiting today. If you don't need anything, please leave. Hey, <laughs> whoa, hey, oh, look at me. <laughs> look at me, it's uh, me, Mario. <laughs> Y'all ain't reading past this? Boy, Mario, you sure got chatty all of a sudden. I mean, you like never talk. Well, I guess it's not too totally weird or anything. Um, Mario, you seem kind of different. 
I mean, you're sort of like the life of the party now. So I guess that's cool. Very fortuitous. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, Gonzales, what's up with you lately? You're kind of freaking me out. I mean, I'm all for acting like a complete loon, but it's not exactly in your character. Ma, 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 Mario. You're rather dramatic of late, aren't you? To be honest, dear, I rather enjoyed your quiet dignity and strength of character. Yeah, y'all don't think anything is weird about anything going on. Mm. Those are my so-called friends. Mm -hmm.